So with that, let's get started. Uh, but let me uh, actually start with the one thing that I guess I forgot to mention or I did kind of think about it, so I didn't technically forget. Um, but let me just uh, quickly show one thing that um, ChatGPT doesn't do well. So I will show enough to uh, show enough of it to show that uh, in showing that I can show you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying too many shows. That uh, ChatGPT doesn't know how to do technical diagrams. It just doesn't. So I've tried this a few times um, with. Um, in the previous uh, virtual class sessions. And if you are interested, you can find it on our YouTube channel. And if you go to, I guess this you will find under physics for conceptual questions. And this is ordered kind of semi-chronologically. So you do need to find it here. There's a version of um, this with, um, um, Sorry, I'm not seeing, let me see. There was a version of this uh, here. And um, <laughs> I think in this one, I had ChatGPT to uh, give me a description of free body diagram it would draw. And the, that description was mostly good. It wasn't all that bad. Um, but, um, you know, ChatGPT has added the capabilities since. Um, and uh, last semester, I was trying to use the capability to have a draw free body diagram. And that's where it didn't do so well, I think. Um, where did I put it? Um, this is spring 22.4. Ah, I hear this, yeah. So um, this is like a, <laughs> I think I spent the entire session because it kept crashing. Uh, it doesn't draw it well. I mean, for some of the ones it drew well, but what I remember is that any time there was an inclined plane, it just uh, crapped out. It didn't do well. So let me just, uh, um, to verify, let me just uh, have it to free body diagram um, uh, for two inclined plane examples. And if, we, uh, if I can confirm, as I was, I'm suspecting that it still can't do free body diagrams, all right, um, we'll move on and not force it to do even more free body diagrams that it doesn't know how to do. Uh, so it might just give me a description and then I'll ask, hey, can you draw it for me? Because uh, the descriptions were often okay. It wasn't all that bad. Um, um, although sometimes like, I, you, you know, if you watched my videos on standard strategy that I don't draw these components separately other than to illustrate the triangle. Um, uh, yes, uh, please create the FDB for me. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be terrible. It looks like it's using DALI, and DALI will just generate an artistic drawing, not something that's technically correct. Maybe. I'm just testing it out. Yeah. <laughs> this is crap. <laughs> so, okay, it's not going to be able to do that. Uh, so let me see if there's a text version of uh, any of these questions, if there is. Uh, there is a... Let me give this a try. Um see um, uh, please give me a word actually oh you know let me do it this way um, so I can do it this way I can copy the text and paste it and uh, I'm trying this because uh, uh, OpenAI just recently released this the preview um, so I can if I start a new session I can do this O1 preview and I can have a text input. What I copied here, it should include the, what's called the alt text of this image. It's an accessibility feature. If a blind student is taking the class, they should have ability to learn and get through the class like a sighted person. So if I paste it, yeah, it has that. And then this is the uh, alt text for it. So let me just submit it and see what this, uh, um, you know, cutting edge version of ChatGPT does. If it still craps out, then, then all right, I will stop torturing it and move on. Um, but, you know, if it does well, then, I mean, I, I'd like to know when ChatGPT can do technical drawings correctly. 
so yeah, there's all this same, same stuff as before. And yeah, for the diagram. Uh, oh yeah, so I think this uh, preview, they don't have the capability to either. So you saw before, you know, no attachment. And I think it also can't uh, generate the images itself. Um, so yeah, all right. Uh, the descriptions it was doing fine before. Um, and the capability that I think it currently doesn't have is it can draw correct technical drawings, which is, you know, free body diagram is an example of that. So, um, so yeah, I just want you to, um, uh, before I start with the problem set four, I just want you to test it out. And I think I'm, um, the status quo is still the case, you know, ChatGPT doesn't know how to draw a free body diagram. Um, at least when it involves inclined planes, it was doing better on some of the other diagrams. So th that having been uh, confirmed, we'll move on and let me just arrange my windows in a more typical fashion. Navigate to problem set four. And let me start a new session here because I want to be able to paste the screenshots. It's so much easier than copy and paste of text information. So I'll go back to this and then get started here. Oh, let me see if I can do this as test student. So I've joked many times that test student is my worst student and oh, somehow it's already here. All right, we'll just get started. So with that, uh, let me um, find a few questions, work it through with the help of ChatGPT. And um, here I'm demonstrating how to learn using generative AI. So I'm going to start out with the prompt that I've been using before. And I think that sometimes it puts that into memory and it'll, it might remember across the sessions, but let me just remind it again to be sure. Um, hi, I'm trying to work through my physics homework and learn how to solve those questions myself. So in this session, when I give you problems, please don't answer them all for me, but wait for me to tell you what I have done so far and help me with the next step. Um, you know, imagine ChatGPT like being a tutor who um, will be very obedient, almost to the point of submissiveness. And also, it'll be overly helpful unless you tell it you know, to hold back. So that's basically what I'm doing. Please don't answer them all for me. A human tutor, like without you telling them, they should know to hold back. But ChatGPT is too, too obedient because it's not a human being. Um, so this question, I guess, um, you know, let me uh, see how well ChatGPT does on this. Um, might, so, you know, this is a static equilibrium, so it's not the hardest question, but um, let me try giving it the question this way without the blanks. They'll probably figure out um, which forces need to be answered. So I'm just going to paste the image to test that, to make sure that ChatGPT with the prompt want just to tell me the answer. Um, all right. Okay, and hopefully they'll just... Uh, ooh, uh, um, let's see. First, you can begin by applying the equilibrium conditions. Uh, is in static equilibrium, meaning the sum of the must be zero. Okay, this will give you two equations. Then you can break the tension forces into their components using the given angles. Yeah, so yeah, so it's not. Um, I think if you're trying to follow this advice, it's a, a little bit hard. Because, um, well, let me just try to follow it and see, um, and you know, play dumb a little bit. <laughs> Uh, and see where that leads me. So, you know, I'm trying to follow it. It says, um, so, you know, keys, do that. It'll give me two equations. Then you can break tension. Yeah, that that, that is uh, confusing. Because, uh, you know, trying to follow that, um, what you will have written is, you know, net force in the x direction is uh, equal to zero 
net force in the y direction is equal to zero. This is the equilibrium condition. Um, and if you are looking at this, or you know, if you are trying to look at formulas and whatnot, you might have gotten this far. Like uh, you know, for the x component, write down t one x plus t two x plus t three x is equal to zero. I'm just being trying to be super generic. Like you know, t three doesn't have an x component, uh, but oops, uh, but I'm just writing it anyway. Let me try pasting this in for ChatGPT and see what it tells me. Because I'm trying to simulate a student who's trying to follow these directions and is getting confused, you know, whereas as then you can break the tension forces into their components using the given angles. So usually you need to have drawn free body diagram to do that. Uh, so, so I'll do this. I'm going to copy and paste this in as an image and then ask ChatGPT, what do I do next? I have uh, this as a attached image. Uh, what do I do next? Um, if it gives me some comprehensible steps to follow, then maybe we'll do that. If not, I might give up. Uh, okay, so it's uh, giving me the breakdown of the um, force components. Let's see if they sound right. Um, so I, this is what I can imagine someone doing, you know, so ChatGPT is giving me the component and you should try to verify it for yourself. So, you know, ChatGPT isn't so good at visual information uh, processing, but you know, you are a human being. You can read this language description and see if it matches with your reality. So the T1, I have it here and here's my X component and here's my Y component. And this does look kind of like a minus T1 cosine uh, 41 degrees. You know, that being 41 degrees, this should be also 41 degrees. It's the adjacent side. And this one should be T1 sine 41 degrees. Um, for T2, um, T2, yeah, pause because it's pointing right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is X. This is y, this is 63 degrees. And yeah, if I write out what it's telling me here, I'll give it the right thing. And for T3, okay. So I think I can actually um, implement that. So let me uh, write this equation out. Then I have net force in the x direction, just using this minus T1 cosine 41 degrees plus um, T2 cosine 63 degrees and then t3x is zero that's equal to zero net force in the y direction is equal to um oh uh, yeah t1 sine 41 degrees plus t2 um sine 63 degrees minus t3 is equal to zero. Good. And uh, let's see, substitute this into equations. Oh, yeah, I did that, start by doing, see if you can simplify for the x and y directions. So let me give this a try. Um, so I think you've seen uh, videos of me using uh, Sage Math to work out a system of equations. So I can try doing that. Let me bring up a version of Sage Math here that I can use. So there's a sage math self. Oh, I don't know the URL. <laughs> um, so, and I'm gonna program it in a way that it's going to error out. Um, and let's see if uh, ChatGPT can help me solve it. So I did. Uh, so I need to define the variables t1, t2, t3, and the rest I'll just use symbols. Um, and I'm gonna say e equation one is um, uh, minus t1 times cosine of, uh, so change math only takes angles in radians. So I have to convert this into radians as I go. Um, plus t2 times cosine of 63 times pi divided by 180 um, 
is equal to zero. Make sure to remember double um, for the equals expression. A single equal sign is assignment symbol. 1 times the sine of 41 times pi divided plus t2 times the sine of 63 pi divided by 180 minus t3 is equal to 0. So I, then I can say solve uh, system of equation 1 and equation 2 for t1, t2, and t3. And it, when I do that, it will give me an error. It will error out. So let's, uh, and I'll imagine, oh, I don't know how to solve this. Or, um, okay, it didn't error out, but it uh, gave me something that's just incomprehensible. It's got R1 in it, and basically comes down to, uh, you need a three, um, you have three unknowns, then you need a three equations. I got only two. So let me uh, copy this um, into ChatGPT and try asking it, hey, how do I do this? I get stuck. Uh, I got the equations and I'm trying to solve them using uh, Sage Math. I think ChatGPT knows about Sage Math. Um, but um, using the following code, uh, I get results that don't make sense. Uh, can you help me troubleshoot? Let's see. Let's see what it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know T3, yeah. yeah. Great, great. Wow, that is good. Uh, yeah, so you can yeah define T3 that way. Yeah, so let me put this in uh, into my Sage Math and then see if it'll do that. So you don't need to solve for T3. Oh, but you do need a uh, numerical approximation, which, you know, let me do that by, I uh, think if I uh, make this a uh, decimal, then it'll force it to do uh, approximate calculation instead of exact results. Or still didn't, all right. I think it's because of that pi. Let me just force it to use numerical approximation of pi. Or I guess I know how to do this, but what if it didn't? Uh, so let me uh, ask ChatGPT what it will recommend. Okay. Uh, so that seems to work, but I need approximate uh, solutions, and not the exact expressions involving pi uh, constant and trig functions. How do I get the approximate solutions? I mean, you could do it by hand, but the point of using program is you can automate a bunch of it. Uh, yeah, so you could use that. Uh, I mean, yeah, I like my method better, but in fact, I'm pretty sure I don't think that'll work. So you know, my method I know works. Maybe. Oh wow, still doing that. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is a rabbit hole that you definitely don't need to get into. Um, yeah, that is just a uh, weird. Uh, all right, as I said, rabbit hole. Uh, so let me try ChatGPT solution, which is to assign this to solution and then do that. I'm pretty sure that actually doesn't even work. Yeah, so. I get below error. Can you suggest uh, something else? Uh, so really what you need to do is you need to extract out the right hand side. Then you can put it through uh, the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you might not get the answer right away, but it'll eventually you know, get you there. It's, uh, and I have no idea why um, my thing isn't working the way it should. But uh, let's see, did it give me everything? Yeah, so solution, you need to go into components. Yeah, I think. So let me just do it one at a time. Solution zero, right hand side, and then end. Uh, Yeah, I think it's still doing that. But I think once you get this far, then uh, you might realize that 
um, it's actually a nested list. So what you need, this is the first solution set, which is the only solution. Uh, so this goes into that, and then this is uh, now the first element of that. Um, hopefully you can figure that out on your own, um, or you know get ChatGPT to figure that out. Let me get out of this rabbit hole after obtaining the answers. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> at some point it's just uh, um, me just uh, uh, rambling about things that um, don't actually matter. Uh, wait, what? Out of range. Oh, all right, because there's only one, two solutions. Um, oh, and I think I need to print them. Yeah, because it'll only show the very last thing. So I need to print them to know the uh, values for T1 and T2. All right, so T1 is 72.5, T2 is 120.6, and T3 were did it, 155. All right. Um, all right, I got them, uh, but I had to use uh, solution and solution. Let's see if we figure out what the issue was. Yeah, yeah. And even when it has only a single solution, it'll still be a list of lists. So you just need to watch out for that. Not sure why ChatGPT didn't know that. All right, uh, I think we have enough time for one or two more questions, depending on you know how deep of a rabbit hole I get into. <laughs> so let's uh, find a couple of questions. Um, let's see. Uh, let's uh, try to find a question that's fairly substantial. And this is a fairly substantial question. In fact, it's kind of a classic question. Let's see how ChatGPT handles it. Um, so this is the like uh, you know inclined plane is really a classic um, Newton's law uh, problem solving strategy question. This is you know you know two inclined planes in one. So uh, that's why I'm saying it's classic. Uh, so let me paste it in and let me. I'm just testing it to see if uh, it'll just answer the whole question or um, like maybe get me started but not give me too much to start. Right down forces acting on this card. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, so this will give you the right answer, but I don't recommend it. Um, in fact, um, um, it's now doing this again. Maybe you have to remind it. Uh, sorry, that looks like uh, the entire problem solving. I can learn that way. Can you just uh, tell me the very first uh, step? Again, this is the problem and I don't want the whole solution. And so one thing that ChatGPT won't be able to do, or even maybe guide you that way, I don't think uh, um, uh, it so it's not, yeah, so how do I say it? Uh, um, yeah, so I guess you could have followed this step. Uh, but let me, um, uh, let me imagine you are someone who wants to actually follow the standard strategy. So, you know, the standard strategy, as you, we teach them, are these set of steps. Step one, uh, draw free body diagram. Step two, uh, define axis. Uh, usually so that X component is parallel to acceleration. Step three, uh, break forces down into components. Step four, uh, write down Newton's second law equation. And uh, because I think the way ChatGPT solves problems, it won't quite ever guide you through this set of steps. But let me try asking it. Um, so my professor uh, wants me to follow his standard strategy 
which starts with drawing the free body diagram. Can you help me drawing free body diagrams for this problem? So, and uh, I recommend not asking you to draw it for you because it'll be wrong. It just doesn't know how to draw free body diagram. But in the past, its descriptions have been fine. So let me try following its description and see how fine it is. So for the 10 kilogram cart, that's uh, um, so gravitational force acts straight down. That's great. M1g decompose this into two components, a component of parallel to the incline, uh, and then perpendicular to the incline. Yeah, th those are the right uh, breakdowns with these component values. And then the tension force pulls it along the incline through the pulley. Yeah. Tension, yeah, this is great. Um, yeah, let me just write that. So, so the, the, I'll label it theta one, this should be the theta one and uh, the perpendicular m1g cosine theta par uh, parallel m1g sine theta one yeah. for the 15 kilogram card let's see gravitational force act straight down uh, and the same thing. Uh, now, where it says a parallel and perpendicular, you as the human being should be able to look at this and realize, oh, parallel is uh, this direction. Oh, let me move this around a little. You should be able to visually process the image and realize this is parallel, this is perpendicular. Um, so parallel one, M2G sine theta two, perpendicular one and 2g cosine theta two uh, and then the tension force acts up the incline and you as a human being looking at this should know that's the direction of tension force so that's the tension and uh, tension forces um, yeah so let's see uh, give it a shot yeah I think uh, I have the are the tension forces the same? Uh, it affects whether you use the same label for these or something else. Uh, yeah. How does it... Ex yeah, yeah. Rope is assumed to be massless. And the pulley's frictionless is also massless. Um, the tension is uniform. Yeah, that's correct answer. So... Um, so let's imagine uh, you might have... Did you, would you say, let's say then, um, so having done all this, that actually has uh, completes the steps one, two, three. We've broken down forces into components. And the idea of uh, steps one through three is that once that's done, you should be able to read off the diagram to write down Newton's second law equations. Um, so let me try that and maybe make a small mistake. Take, do I want to make a mistake doing it? Uh, let me give it a try and see what ChatGPT does. I, I don't think it will be realistic for someone who's here to actually make a mistake that I'm going to make. Uh, let's see how ChatGPT deals with it. So I'm going to say, um, let's do it this way. I want to write it down in some clean space so that I can take the screenshot and um, present it to ChatGPT. So... I have a uh, four mass one, the net force in the X direction is equal to M1G sine theta plus T. You know what, this might actually be a realistic mistake. Someone just looking at this. So I'm making a mistake regarding uh, directions of forces. Net force in the Y direction. Oh, this is one, this is uh, still one, not two. It's equal to M1G cosine theta. Oh, we are missing a force. I should have realized this. Um, what we are missing, uh, the, whose omission won't affect your answer, but there should be no more force here. Um, 
Oops. Because <laughs> uh, uh, there's no friction here. Forgetting about normal force won't actually affect anything. So let's uh, just uh, not be bothered by that for the time being and just deal with the X component. Because uh, there's still a mistake that I want ChatGPT to spot and help me fix. Net force in the X along the, or net force for object two along the X direction. Write it down as M 2G sine theta. This was one, two, uh, plus T is equal to M two A. So the mistake here is basically a sign error. Uh, two different sign errors. One in that here I'm not accounting for the uh, graph force due to gravity and tension being basically in opposite directions for both of them. And two, uh, I should really need to figure out the direction of acceleration and make it consistent between the two objects. And I didn't bother to do that. Or, you know, I didn't know to do that. <laughs> um, so, but let me give this. I have these two equations. Uh, Attached, uh, do they look correct? I hope it'll say no. Because it shouldn't look correct. Yeah, yeah, there's a sign issue. <laughs> yeah, moving it. I mean, they're not moving in opposite directions. Um, yeah, but, but, you know, this is right. Uh, time for tension. Eh? So, first, the two pulling down incline. Okay, so let's uh, try following the direction and correcting it. Uh, theta minus, or actually it's doing T minus. So, okay, so keep that plus and I make this minus. Um, minus. And then, um, Due to grab pulling down the incline, pulling up. So yeah. So in doing this, I think ChatGPT has basically made an assumption that um, the cart will be moving this way. Uh, which, if that's correct, then great. I, I th and I think that is correct. Um, so yeah. Oh, I guess I can actually just copy and paste that. Um, so so yeah. I think from here. Um, you can solve so uh, um, I think I got it thank you oops uh, I think it's still stuck here I'm gonna just pause oh all right I, I don't know why the, that button looked weird uh, we have 10 minutes I just want you to look at maybe one more question uh, yeah I don't know why it's doing that <laughs> doesn't matter I'm moving on to a different question so let me see if there's a Oh, I like this question. In fact, there's a um, um, free from time assessment question that's kind of built off of this and and then you know put it on an incline bunch of stuff. Um, so let me ask you this question. It's uh, uh, now it's not a difficult question. Uh, in fact, you know, uh, like two dimension wise, it's actually easy because it's not an inclined plane. But uh, it's the kind of question where you have to worry about Newton's third law and make sure um, you account for all the forces correctly. And you basically have to know how to apply standard strategy. If you don't, you might run into issues. Okay, let me post it and let me just give it a reminder. Uh, uh, reminder, uh, please don't. Give me the whole solution. I want to learn for myself how to do problems like this. Is it just going to give me the whole thing? Or maybe it's, oh yeah, no, no, it's giving me free body diagram. That's good. Okay, so let me draw free body diagram. And it's remembered from the previous part in the conversation that your instructor wanted you to <laughs> draw free body diagrams. So, uh, block, and yeah, so that's the one on the right, but I'm going to draw the free body diagram on the left, and I won't be confused. So there's a force F pulling it to the right, that's good. Uh, there's tension pulling it to the left, good. There's frictional force. All right, so um, it looks like it has focused only on um, 
uh, only on uh, horizontal forces, which not technically wrong, or I mean, it, how do I put it? Technically wrong, but it won't lead to incorrect answers in the end. For the purpose of drawing free body diagram, for those to be correct, you should draw the Y component of forces, you know, gravity and normal force. And omitting it, you can still get to the right answer because these are really simple. You know, normal force in this case will just end up being mg. So, so yeah. Um, but so for now, let me just try to follow what ChatGPT is doing, just acknowledging that it's giving you a set of steps that are not fully complete, but it'll nonetheless give you a right answer in the end. So there's tension pulling it to the right for the mass 2m and the frictional force against the motion to the left, uh, mu k n. And yeah, it actually gave you n. Yeah, n is. So let me just put those in right now so I'm not making it over complicated. Uh, mu k mg k 2 mg. And uh, just to be clear, my preference is that you include all the forces, not do these intermediate simplifications. But let's try following ChatGPT, see if we can get to the right answer. Um, I think uh, I have the diagrams and uh, I tried uh, writing down the equations. Does this uh, look right? And let me write those equations. And so um, because this doesn't involve tilted axis or anything, um, so we're just going to go with the natural uh, axis, you know, moving to the right is positive. And um, well, we are ignoring the y direction for now. Um, so uh, for step number four in the standard strategy, writing down your Newton's second law equations, you will be writing down for the net force on mass m, it'll be applied the force f minus tension minus the friction force mu um, and the uh, yeah, let me make a slight mistake of not acknowledging that the friction coefficients are different. So I'll just say mu k uh, mg uh, is equal to ma. And then net force on the big mass is tension minus mu k um, 2 mg is equal to 2 and hey, let me see how well this uh, uh, copies or uh, uh, yeah, let me see or let me do it this way just so I'm not unnecessarily confusing ChatGPT. I'll move it this way so that I can take a clean screenshot and then I'll put it back. I think I can use those markers as a reference. Wait. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I had tried the locations. Does this look right? All right. And hopefully they'll... Uh, so let's see if we'll spot the mistake because I'm actually... Uh, ah, yeah, 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 okay, got it. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, clarifying that. Yeah. Smaller block, 0 0.31, bigger block. Yeah, that is good. Uh, yeah, and I think you have two equations, two unknowns, uh, ready to... Uh, okay, um, so I have, what, four minutes? So let me have a chat GPT walk me through step by step. Okay, so, all right. Uh, I'm ready to solve the system of equations. Uh, what do I do next? I mean, you should try something, but you know, I only have three minutes. So I'm just gonna ask you for what to do next. Um, one equation for t. Yeah, you can use substitution method that way. Um, so you can solve the so one for the smaller block for t. Yeah. Now my default recommendation is solve the simpler equation first. So that the expression you are using isn't overly complicated, but doesn't matter either way it works. So, uh, so so for t and then plug. Oh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> t 
So, uh, so you could definitely do it that way. Solve for acceleration and then plugging in there. Um, but that's a kind of an extra step. Um, it's actually quicker if you solve one of them for acceleration first and then plug in. That'll, um, you know, eliminate acceleration and give you tension right away because you don't need to solve for acceleration here. Um, a professor says uh, that this uh, adds extra steps. Can you show me a solution step that uh, gives me tension uh, tension right away without having to find the value of acceleration? What? It has a tumor? Oh, that, uh, I wasn't suggesting that. That, that still isn't, you are still finding acceleration. Okay. ChatGPT doesn't know. Uh, but, uh, but that gives me acceleration. I need tension. Yeah, that's one way to do it. You could solve both for acceleration set them equal to each other. In fact, that, that might be what I do in the homework helper video and then solve for tension directly. Yeah, that, that's another way to do it. Uh, ah, that works. Uh, thank you. So I think that's it. Um, so uh, this is a demo using those three questions, how you might interact with a generative AI to help you do it. Again, um, it won't be able to draw the free body diagrams. And even when it does give you the descriptions for the free body diagrams, it will often be missing stuff. You know, it, it basically ignores the Y direction, which as a matter of uh, problem solving hygiene, building good habits, it's not good habit. Uh, so I do recommend that you watch homework helper videos and, you know, the, the standard strategy that we teach, it, we put me and actually the physics instructor here before me, I got standard strategy from her. Um, we put in a lot of time stream, streamlining that uh, particular set of physics problem solving strategy. And I think the four step strategy that we give you is a lot better than what you find in the textbook or even in the portable TA. So I do recommend learning that. And it's demonstrated like two dozen times over many different problem solving videos. So I recommend that you learn that. And as you are going through it, if you get stuck somewhere, I do have some confidence that ChatGPT will probably give you some useful help. And you know you can upload uh, if we, I think even with the free version you can uh, even I think we even with the free version you can upload the images and have it analyze your handwriting. So 